guys I'm going to show you the two projects I have created using PHP HTML CSS JavaScript and the uh, MySQL so here is the first project an inventory management system which is connected to the point of sale system so I'm going to discuss the features of the of each of the project so first is we have a nice um, home page of our inventory system and then here we have the login um, page and we can log in so let's click the login so the dashboard will show us the simple graphs so pie chart bar the line chart so we can see here the purchase orders by status and account and then the product account assigned to suppliers and also here the delivery history per day then we have the report section so here we can export details suppliers purchase orders deliveries and products can export by using excel file or can also export using uh, pdf as you can see here next is we have the product management so we can see here list of products and the product information so the stock image and then the suppliers who created the product and then the date so we can also edit the name of the product and delete the product in the system Another thing is the add product features uh, here. You can add a new product. And then here, let's just upload this file. Let's create. And if we view, as you can see here, this is the, the product. So how do we set the stock so we need to order to our suppliers so here so before we can create an order or PO for that product let's just set first the supplier so select that one um okay so we have another supplier for that product let's add or create a purchase order test product so here it will show the the product or the supplier of the product let's enter the quantity we want to order then here we have the view orders so here the details quantity ordered and receive so now if there are deliveries you can see here the history now for example the supplier delivered the whole product so we can now set this one to complete now if we go back to the product list as you can see the stock of the product is now 32 so another feature is we can view the list of suppliers then here we have the supplier details same thing we can edit and delete supplier so for the PO which I have already discussed we can create a PO and view purchase order um, history and also the deliveries you can see your histories of deliveries of the 
ordered quant or product and last is we have here users management so we can view the list of users and then we can same thing delete and edit and here we have the formation so we can allow users um, specific access so for example the press the user can view create edit but cannot delete the product management or product data and then here we can also add a new user in the system so basically that's it for the inventory management system and then so this system is connected to our point of sale so if we go back to our go to our point of sale system and let's refresh so as you can see here this is the product that we just added and if here in this system because this is a simple system but we have this search feature so and test right now it's set to zero so actually i miss the product or capture the the product um what do you call that one um uh, price so if we go to add product there's no price so just going to show you here in our database or server the php my admin the database so i can just manually set the price for this one for now so the name of the database is inventory and here on the product section so this is the product so I, for now i'll just set this one to so now i'm going to refresh and then do a search a live search so now it is reflected so first feature is we have the search feature and then once we click this will allow us to um, add this product to the order list or to our POS system so let's say we ordered 78 of this and we have an error hunter since 32 is the current price uh, or the stock of these products so let's just do 15 then let's add more here uh, let's remove this this cafe c1 so also if it's zero then we won't be able to order that this one so here on the right side we have simple time then here we have the list of products so this is, these are the products that we just selected um, the product the quantity the price and then the amount so here is the total amount now we are going to check out the product and then here we can see the summary of our orders here let's input the the amount let's say give us 100 then we can also capture the customer details the address then also the contact if there is so now let's check out once it is successful we'll be able to print a receipt for the customer so that's the basic feature of our IMS then here is another thing is we can show the dashboard sort of the dashboard of in our uh, inventory management this one is shows the total sale amount the quantity sold then the total orders then here we have the last five orders so as you can see this is the last 
five orders or the last the recent orders we made then here the daily sales per day and also we can change the one using the range change the date range so basically that's it and if we go back again to our products you can see here so before this was 30 till now it's now 17 since we ordered uh, 15 items so here the database this is the database for our point of sale so just three tables customer sales and then the sales items and then this is the uh, POSS, POS files, we have CSS, images CS and then the PHP file and then also is the IMS file so that's it and thank you